Welcome back to the den. I'm Tobin here for a quick five of Barrister and Man. Five of my favorite fragrances from Barrister and Man. I do have a top 10 in the Arson Spotlight series where I go more in depth than I do with these quick five. This was not easy to put together. I have 26 tubs, 25, 24 sets, complete sets from Barrister. And you know what? I really enjoy all of them and I love most of them. Real quickly, a honorable mention to these five fragrances. This was so tough. Spice, Rome, a Maisonette, Petrichor, and the Full Measure of Man. My quick five. Let's go with Oceana, Saltwater, Bergamot, Sandalwood, and Jasmine. Aquatic, beautiful fragrance. I would call this the barbershop of the sea. And it was just a beautiful fragrance. Powdery. I think that might be coming from the jasmine. I also think there might be other notes in this that aren't listed. I need to do a full on review of this sometime. I love this fragrance. I can't get enough of it. Uh, I do have the splash and the bomb. I love the new, they're no longer all that new. I forgot to grab them. Oh, no, I didn't. So this is a fragrance I'm going to do here in a second. But the new pump bottles, this is still a great product inside. It's just they were so messy. And I'm going to ramble and make this too long. So my first fragrance, no particular order, Oceana. The second fragrance in my quick five, I freaking love this fragrance. I could never get enough of it, ever, ever ever it is the sandalwood all they have listed for is the sandalwood cord i do believe there's more going on than sandalwood but i have a, a woody earthy rich smooth uh woodiness going on to this it like it says on the sales page and you may have seen in reviews it is easily the most natural smelling sandalwood that I have yet to discover. Will and the team at Barrister Man just knocked it out of the freaking park. This is a banger of a fragrance. It is so hard to do just a wood note on its own. Whatever the sandalwood accord is, it's freaking awesome. Sandalwood. The third fragrance is a fragrance that I've loved for a long time from Barrister Man, known as the God of Barbershops, Seville. I have this in the Excelsior base. It is just so damn good, and I like it so much. I've got a stray shaving there. Uh, I love it so much that I have the EDT, the original splash that came with the Excelsior base, and then when they came out with the Seville and Reserve, I had to buy it. And so far, this is the only splash that I can think of that I have in the Reserve uh, formula. The same exact fragrance. There's, there's no difference in the fragrance, but this has uh, more ingredients and more premium ingredients. So this is just a, a more premium post-shave on top of the already killer post-shave um, that you get from Barrister Man's splash oh hey i almost hit the stop button the notes dude tobin what's going on brother it's a quick five it doesn't have to be that quick lemon bergamot lavender rosemary the rosemary oak moss patchouli i haven't picked up uh edt spray fragrance for a while in Barrister Man, from Barrister Man, but I do have a couple, and if there's one thing I would complain about, it is the, um, the way that it sprays, can't think of the word, um, but I don't care for it, it's a, a, a cheap, God, brain farts, atomizer, it's a cheap, a cheap atomizer, the fragrance, there's nothing cheap about it, but at least with mine, and the other two that I have, they could do better with their atomizer. 
God's Barbershop. The end result is the performance though that we all expect from Barrister Man products. And this is a, a killer EDT. The fourth fragrance, one, two, three, four, in my top five, quick five countdown from Barrister and Man, lavender. The only lavender I have from them is in the black label. I have since picked up the splash with now was the old label. Back when this came out, I was still in the habit of buying a soap here, a soap there, a splash here, a splash there. So I never did pick up the lavender that was out at the time. This is slightly different, and I have checked into that, the, the fragrance that's in the new one. This is more of just a straight lavender, um, as to where this, if I recall correctly, is modeled after a fragrance. I'll put it right up here. Absolutely beautiful, though. It is straight up a lavender fragrance. I'm wearing it. I got fragrances all over me. Uh, it's been one of those days, guys. I've been really squirrely, and I'm sure it's going to come across in this video if it hasn't already. But at that time, um, I was trying a lot of different brands. And so I had the Jefferson Square that I never picked up the splash from. And so that's just Mickey Lee's lavender and I was doing a lot of matching these two soaps the lavender from B&M and the lavender from Mickey Lee with lavender planet from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements but then also at the same time I was exploring and really fell in love with l and l grooming which is now declaration grooming I have two soap tubs of it I had this one but then this 8-bit logo came out and I just had to have it so there's still soap in both of these but with that first one I did pick up um their splash and it is just so amazing and all of these pair so well together my fourth from Barrister and Man lavender so damn good last but certainly not least in the Excelsior base, we have Cheshire. I talked about this the other day um, during my Tea Party 508 First Impressions. Cheshire is William, the founder and artisan behind Barrister Man. His favorite fragrance, I used to tub load this one, I've been scooping it since. It's basically, not exactly, but extremely close to the fragrance of Earl Grey. And that's what they were going for when they created this fragrance. And there's no denying that that is what it smells like. But it's also something more at the same time. American Clary Sage, bergamot, and then small amounts of lavender and patchouli. And it is just a wonderful, beautiful fragrance. All this stuff, you know, is now out in the new labels, and none of them have yet to grow on me. Um, I'll leave it at that, because this is a quick five. I won't go on some rant about how I dislike the new labels, but Cheshire is just absolutely phenomenal. It's a tea fragrance, but it doesn't scream tea. Um, if you weren't familiar with Earl Grey, you might not even know that it's a tea fragrance because there's no tea in it that I'm aware of. I want to thank you for joining me for my Barrister and Man Quick Five. Hope I wasn't too scattered brainy. It's good stuff though, Maynard. It really freaking is. And I'm going to love you a long time. I got a couple of videos coming up for you this weekend. So be on the lookout for those. And I'll love you a little bit longer if you do. And uh, hey, it's a little big things. Like... Earl Grey tea, which I think I might just have me a cup of. I got some double Earl Grey tea from my friends at Stash, and I got a hankering for it. Uh, so until then, be cool. Thanks for joining me. Take care.